Hello and welcome to a new player review. So it's Tuesday and it's time for the league SPCs update. We have uh, three leagues now in play for the team of the season. So uh, we ex we're, we're expecting um, uh, quite a few players and uh, we got them. Um, I'm a bit disappointed again in the picks. As you can see, we got Berghaus for Eredivisie. Uh, doesn't look all that interesting. Uh, Gossens, which probably is the biggest disappointment out of the three, I want to say, with a quick look that I gave him. Need him high defensive work rates, three star, three star. I don't really know, poor finishing there. And uh, at least we got one really good card by the looks of it from the Chinese Super League, which is going to be Dembele. Uh, Musa Dembele, um, former Tottenham star, uh, now in the Chinese League for a few years. Um, it looks like a really, really nice card. Uh, really, really nice. And I think it's the cheapest out of the three leagues to complete at the moment. So this card looks like a really good value for money. I think at this time, the SPC should be somewhere around uh, 120k, so really, really cheap. You get a lot of packs back. They might not be good packs, but you will get some coins. So uh, his price is going to be well beyond uh, under 90k, I want to say 80k, with some stuff that you can sell from the pack. So uh, it looks like a really nice card. Like I said, Musa Dembele at 185 height, uh, so he's about 6'1". Uh, left footed with a four star skills and an update uh, and an upgrade on his weak foot on his normal card as a two star now we have a three star which is uh, fantastic uh, his uh, base card is an 81 so this is a 90 rated version so we have nine ratings with about 75 base stats and about 300 in-game stats so it's a really nice boost uh, with 87 pace 80 shooting 91 passing 93 dribbling 89 defending and 95 physical uh, from the club uh, Guangzhou RNF FC, we have uh, overall pace 87 with acceleration to 85 and sprint speed to 87. Very nice uh, speed on his base. Uh, but we already applied the shadow because this guy is going to be played as a CDM. Uh, with the medium medium work rates, it's not the best, but it's not the worst as well. So we're going to go to maxed out speed with uh, 99 acceleration and 97 sprint speed. Uh, good shooting at uh, 80 with attack positioning 81 finishing a bit poor but still okay with great shot power great long shots and great volleys as well at 85 uh, passing level 91 uh, very good um, it would have been higher although those free kick that free kick uh, stat there at 65 is dragging it a bit uh, lower we have great vision at 94 great short pass at 99 good long pass at 93 and just a curve is a bit under 80 there at 76 but the rest of the stats look amazing um, and we have dribbling at over 93 uh, although this guy is uh, tall like 6'1 like we said he has good dribbling stats with agility at 86 and balance 81 uh, great reactions to 86 and then ball control dribbling and composure 94 95 96 so uh, I think this guy should play well and should handle well in game with uh, these stats uh, defending overall 89 with great interceptions 93 is fantastic it goes to 99 good heading accuracy uh, good defensive awareness at 86 uh, we go to 96 uh, great standing tackle at 92 to 97 and a bit low on the slide tackle but like uh, i always say slide tackle is the least of the tackles that you do at 80 uh, it goes to 95 but like i said it doesn't really matter there uh, physical overall 95 uh, we have jumping at 91 stamina is at 71 which is going to be probably the only worrying point we want to see on this card because at this stage in the game uh, a lot of fast cards a lot of boosted cards with uh, stamina that run a lot in the game fast cards so you need stamina to compensate for that so i want to see how that 71 stamina will play into him uh, but he has fantastic strength at 99 and great aggression as well at 93. So all in all, it looks like an amazing card. I don't see any flaws anywhere except that stamina. Uh, no traits whatsoever. Um, and like I said, the medium medium work rates uh, might not be the best for a CDM, but it's also not uh, the worst because that means that you can also play him uh, somewhere else in the midfield, maybe as an uh, actual CM in a box to box role, or you can play him even as a cam with a different cam style. So. Uh, that work rate might play to his advantage. So, um, it looks like a great card. So let's go into a couple of games and try this card out. All right, so here we go with our first opponent. It's going to be a nice Syria team uh, with uh, nine goal on there. Team of the season looks like an amazing card. I will try that card out and Handanovic as well. Team of the season. Uh, so for the first game, uh, we're going to go in the four-two-three-one formation. I'm going to try out uh, team of the season league SBC uh, Musa Dembele. Uh, in the main CDM position with uh, stay back instructions. 
and do that again. Move it up. So, holds it. Then do that. It's going to give me the space. Now I'm going to take the shot. It was a good shot. Dembele with a steel inside the area. Here it is again. There we go. No. No, he's going to lose it there. there go. Again, there's Dembele. Good dribble. Let's go. Give me that pass. Nice. Good pass to Vitze. Nice. Walk it in. There's Kaka. Shoot. Oh, blocked. Then the again, good ball roll. It's the space again. Shoot again, blocked. Then we steal though. Again, the middle. Shoot. Oh no. Come on, the belly. Push. Nice. A lot of strength there. Push. Nice. Nice steal. Come on, the middle. Move. In that pass. Great. Good sir. Shoot. Nice. Dembele with the interception. Great marking there. There he is again. There he is again with great marking. There's the pass. Carver Hall. That's it. With a great pass to Kaka. With a fake. Shoot. And a goal. Great goal there, 1-0. So, shoot. Ooh, what a goal. No <laughs> way. Wow, another kickoff goal. Wow, that was a nice goal. All right, that's going to be game. Uh, got punished. Uh, I think he only had like maybe two chances, three on goal. Anyways, doesn't really matter. Uh, we have 8.1 for uh, Dembele, really, really nice. No problems with the uh, stamina whatsoever. Uh, although he was on stay back, uh, my opponent was not marking me. He was always uh, marking, uh, covering the passing lane. So he was giving me a lot of space. That's why I was going uh, forward a lot with Dembele. But uh, he's on the stay back instructions. But we did get a few chances. Uh, one on four shots on target. They weren't that great. His finishing is a bit poor, but I suspect if we change the camp style, we might get better results. Uh, 17 on 70 passes, really nice, and the dribbling as well, 17 on 20, and one on one tackles one. Mostly, as you can see, my opponent was attacking from the other side there with uh, Cristiano Ronaldo, uh, five on eight on Witzel. Uh, as you can see, minus six fitness, but like I said, uh, no problems with the fitness. He was good to go for the 90 minutes. As you can see here from the stats, we couldn't win this one. Anyways, let's try him again in another game. Okay, so here we go with our next opponent, which is probably a you know, objectives team for Syria. I want to guess. I don't know. What is this? Icon objectives? This late? Maybe? Anyways, uh, we're going to try uh, to test out this card in the 4-2-3-1 formation. Uh, the League SPC team of the season, Musa Dembele, in the left CDM position with stay back instructions. All right, there we go. So he made uh, three substitutions with uh, a lot of great team of the seasons there. So it's a better game now, more equal. Go, Kaka. Turn, turn, no, no, no. Nice, there it is. Nice. We missed a tackle, but he still gave us the ball. There we go. There's the cup. Nice. There's the ball. Great ball. Get it. That's it. Good ball roll. No. No. Yes. There we go. Give me a pass. Nice. We want to lean up the turn. There's the cup. Nice. That's the thing there. Go. There's Kaka again. Still walks with the ball. You tell. Here's a Kaka. Shoot. Block. Shoot. There we go. Uh, Deserve goal there for Kaka. 
or well, we missed that tackle again. Wow. There it is. Good dribbling. Out of strength to hold the ball. There we go. Dendele. Find the space there. Yes, with good speed. Nice dribbling. Oh, come on. Oh, and it's gone. Alright, so that was a quick game there. Uh, 7.3 by Dembele. Uh, he didn't get to play that much, I believe, from that side. But uh, he was good, although I did miss uh, one or two tackles. Uh, I think it was a combination of me being late and his tackle being a bit, just a bit too slow. Um, no offensive uh, contributions. 15 on 16 passes, 11 on 12 dribbles. And one on three tackles, so those two tackles that I think it probably was me that I missed him. Uh, being a bit late, you need to play him a little bit to get used to uh, the reactions time, uh, the reaction times uh, that he needs. But uh, other than that, I feel really nice again playing him as a CDM. So uh, that was a nice game. Let's go back and have a look at this card. All right, so we have uh, team of the season, uh, League SBC, Musa Dembele uh, from Guangzhou RNF FC, I suppose. Um, two games, two great, good games for Dembele. I, I really like him. Uh, I played him uh, in the same game with Vitzel. I played Vitzel on the right side, on the right CDM spot, where I play uh, on default, no instructions, and I played Dembele on the left side where I uh, play stay back instructions. And also to kind of compare them to see. Um, obviously, he is a very nice uh, uh, holding uh, uh, midfielder, uh, great defending. Great physical, his strength is amazing, his aggression as well to go in. His marking is exceptional, even at 86, I think it's a bit higher than that, his base stat. He covers great areas and great passing lanes uh, to recover the ball. Uh, his interceptions are really, really nice, although like I said, in the second game, uh, I kind of misjudged a few tackles and missed him, but that was my mistake. But uh, his interceptions are really nice and his standing tackle as well. Uh, he feels in his dribbling, he feels... Uh, Quite good, better than I expected for his frame. Uh, when you get someone that is over like 6'1", uh, you usually don't get that agility and great mobility in the player to turn and move around and do some great uh, dribbles. But this guy is a kind of a nice medium in between. Uh, he doesn't feel clunky at all, uh, but he doesn't feel super agile. So he's really nice in control, uh, given all that. But he's not a player that you want to do uh, that many dribbles with, so you don't depend that much uh, on him dribbling, although he does have the five star skill, the four star skills, and the updated three star weak foot, which we did take a few shots in the first game, uh, but the finishing was poor. Uh, I didn't really find any faults. The only fault that I saw before we started, I said it was that stamina that maybe wasn't enough at 71, but uh, both games I played him in the stay back uh, rule, and he had no problems with his stamina. Even in the first game where I uh, he pushed up a bit because my opponent gave me a lot of space when I was holding the ball with Dembélé. So I pushed up uh, quite a few times and took uh, three or four shots with Dembélé. Uh, so he was going up and coming back down in defense. Uh, and his stamina at the end was like more, I want to say more than one third left or uh, maybe like 40% uh, he still have left. So I didn't think he has any stamina issues. Uh, if you play him on stay back. Now, if you play him in another position, a CM or a cam roll, I don't know. But as a CDM, where this card is intended, uh, you won't have any problems with his stamina. At the price, uh, at the SBC, uh, obviously the price is going to be inflated a little bit after this card came out. It was about 120. Um, at 120, with the packs you get back, uh, like I said, they're not great packs, but even uh, with the silver players, the uh, some uh, common gold players that you might sell, some consumables, you can easily make back like 20, 30, 40k. So we're talking about a card that costs easily under 100k. Uh, it's not from a great league, but it's from a great nation where you can do a lot of hybrids. That's why I also want to do this hybrid here to show you right away. But there's so many great Belgian players, especially now with the team of the season. There's so many Belgian players that you can uh, hybrid him out with. But uh, the Chinese league has some really, really nice players as well. Uh, the Chinese league has some great team of the season cards so you can easily um, uh, put them in your team and I think for uh, under 120k I want to say under 100k easily uh, this card is definitely a value and it's a great card to add to your team so this is going to be it for this review leave a like if you enjoyed it subscribe and I'll see you in the next one